Hello everybody. This is my original review of Carnival Games for the Switch. Now please point out that I scrapped this review. And that is because I screwed up. I bashed this game to shreds. Even though I gave this game a red card in my updated review. What I said about Carnival Games here, I fucked up. Because I said certain things that I shouldn't have. And if I would have published this instead of the review that I eventually posted, people would have been hounding at me saying that there's more unlocked mini games. There's eight mini games that are unlocked right out of the box, and not two, like you originally thought. People would have said that. Because I said that this game had a fatal flaw, and said there were only two mini games that you could play right out of the box. This original review says that. I do apologize and you're gonna get a good laugh with this review because I was ranting and raving about it. You're gonna see what was my original review before I scrapped it and replayed the game with the knowledge that I finally realized once I moved the screen left and right because of what well, you, you know what I mean. I, I uh, used the left and right buttons on my controller here and found out that there were four themes to carnival games instead of that one theme that I thought that was only there I thought at the time that there were more to unlock. I thought there were only too many games that I could actually play until I got tickets and whatever or not. I really thought that. So you're going to get a good laugh out of this. You're going to get a good laugh at me ranting and raving about this game, saying that it was worse than Bailing Wonder World, and saying this was one of the worst games of all time. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. This is nothing like the review that I eventually did. The updated review. The correct review. The way that it should have been. What I did here shouldn't have been. Had it been for the knowledge, I never would have realized my mistake. Thank God that I did. So as a result, you're going to watch the original review that I had intended to upload and then realized my mistake. Yep, I fucked up, folks. I fucked up. Realizing that there were more mini games that were unlocked. So as a result, guys, enjoy. Hope you have a good laugh. This is my original review of Carnival Games for the Switch. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you get a good laugh out of it. So, here we go, folks. Enjoy. <laughs>
Welcome to another episode of Gameplay and Review. And today I am doing a physical Switch game this time. And it's a game that I've had for quite some time, but I never bothered to actually play it and review it for you guys until now. And it's a game that I know that we viewer does not like. And I know that this game has gotten quite a bit of negative reviews. So, it's possible that I'm going to give this a red card. But, I gotta tell you, well, you probably already know what the game is, because you know the title already at the beginning. You know that it's Carnival Games. And, you know about the negative reviews. The question is, and I don't know if this is going to be as bad as other games that I've played this year. Will it? Will it be worse or be or be even better than Bale and Wonderworld? Will it be even better than some of the games I've played? Will it, will it be a good game? Will it be anything? Will it be a good carnival game? Will it be well worth the price of buying this thing? Is it worth it? Let's find out okay everybody it's time to play carnival games and i'm going to see how bad or how good this is i don't know because i know that the wii viewer said that this is a bad war of a game that's been on the wii so we'll see what happens no i want to start the software please thank you very much I'm doing a sticking review right now. Do software sticking later. Or, not software. Update sticking later. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 2K! Yay! I've heard of 2K. Do I care about using the sticking data? No. I care about playing the game and reviewing the sticking sucker. Sometimes I hate updates. Having to do a sticking update, do a sticking review. Why is this? loading. Why does it take... Okay. Oh, don't tell me this is one of those games where you have to use the Joy-Cons. Thanks you for letting me sticking! No! No, thank you. I want to use the sticking controller. I want to Welcome see. to our carnival games! The voice acting. Blah! Alright. I was checking something out over there. I, I have a stream going, but that's Drop okay. Drop into the player store to try new clothes and customize your appearance! No, thank you! Free play tournament. No, I want free play, team play, no browse, vibration. I don't give a crap. Done. Choose player. I'll do Matt. Choose AI, don't care, let's do it. Who cares? Let's go. Jungle lane. Let's do batter up. Batter up. Okay, so you can use the. So you can use this. That's good. 
that's at least good that you have options to use different controllers, which is good. I will say that that's a plus. That is a plus, but that don't mean nothing. Step right up to the most popular game on the midway. Game time is 60 seconds. Here we go. Step right up to the most popular game on the midway. Uh, no, thank Three, you. Let's two, play. one, go! <laughs> Bang! Hit a home run. Oh, you get points. Get ready for a fast one. Trolls are fine. Trolls are fine in this game. That's it. Batter up. Fuck. You're ready for the big one. Oh, I don't give a shit. Alright. Exit. Know how to play. Let's go to the next one. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Let's go to the next one. Oh, so you have to unlock it. Unlock the game, please. Oh. That's a problem. That is a problem. You can't play certain sticking minigames. You have to you have to get tickets to play these minigames. That's bullshit. Look at all those games. That's you can't hardly wait till you play them. That's bull oh. So batter up. Let's see. Two games, that's it. Batter Up and Cluster Cups. That's the only two games that you can play. You have to unlock the rest. Play games, That's bullshit. Win tickets, spin tickets, play more games. That play is ball. bullshit. I'm sorry. I don't like that. Cluster Cups. Let's try Cluster Cups before I end this sticking review. Because that's a problem right there. I'll probably try to get some tickets, though. I'm not going to end the review right here. But that's bullshit. I'm sorry. This is just similar to Bob Fallon and Wonder Woman. That's the same bullshit as that. Well, you have to get stuff in order to unlock. It's bullshit, and it really is. That ruins a good game. I don't mind the control of that one particular game, but that's it. Buy bonus track? What's that? I don't know. Let's Three, play. Let's two, one, go! This game's bullshit. Sorry. It would probably be much easier if it weren't moving. Yeah, and if you would allow these games to be played, I'd be happy, you stinking fuck. They are playable, I'll give them that, nice but that's it. Terrific tossing, yay! Oh, so you get tickets from that. I don't give a shit. Are you gonna give me any sticking tickets for that? No, you're not gonna give me any, are you? See, that's bullshit. Why would you do that? <sighs> and I get no tickets. Son of a bitch. That's bullshit. So I have to play these two sticking games until I get enough tickets to unlock? What were you thinking, 2K? 
This game should be better. You shouldn't have to unlock things. Now I know why the Wii viewer hates this sticking game. It fucking sucks. Let's see what you can do. Son of a sticking bitch. Three, two, one. I'll just play batter up until I get more sticking tickets. It just ruins the fucking fun. Having to play a game over and over and over again until you get stuff. Are you in the big leagues or the bush leagues? Oh, shut the fuck up. This game is bush league. Because it doesn't let you play the other sticking game until you unlock it with tickets. Get the earned sticking tickets to get them. That's no sticking fun. On At least you didn't have to do that with one, two, switch. You didn't have to unlock them with sticking tickets. This game just pisses me off. This is not a game that I would play honestly. That was a hard one. That was a hard one. Yay! Game results. I already got first place, so I should be getting tickets. Now should I? Play this game, and we'll really see how your skills stack. Three, two, one. I have to one, keep sticking no. playing until I get sticking tickets, and enough of them to, to unlock sticking games. This game sucks. Uh, tiny little ball with your great big bat. Game's bullshit. Suddenly, I feel like the switch was more redeeming than this. Uh, I'm about done. I'm probably gonna call it. Whoa! Now you gonna get stuff? Gonna get me stuff? The sticking socks. Game results. Game results! Yay! Fifteen tickets! Yay! Can I unlock them? Can I unlock ones now? How many? One hundred. Four hundred. Fifty! Bullshit. Bullshit. I am done! This is the best And this is how I feel games. about your We've fucking no game. Expense. Or spend no expense. Something like that. This is just about as bullshit as Bill and Wonderworld! I will see you for my final review because I've I've had enough. I can't believe you have to get tickets to unlock these games. You had to play certain games time and time again until you can unlock them. Until you un unlock the others. 2K, what are you thinking? Uh, I will see you for my final review. <laughs> this fucking title. <sighs> Man! Now, what I was going to do was unlock 
every single fucking minigame that there was in this game. And then I just said, and I did this off camera, and then I just said, fuck it. The game has a fatal flaw. Could have been fun if it wasn't for what 2K did with this game. All right, I'll get to the positives. So far, what I've played, the controls are okay. Graphics were okay at best. Man, oh man. But it has a fatal flaw that prevents the entire game from being fun. What's the biggest problem? Well, the biggest problem is we have only two mini games that you get to play right off the fucking bat. And then, of course, you have to grind those particular mini games until you can unlock the rest of them with tickets. One two switch was a lot better when it came to unlocking things. It was much more easier to unlock certain mini games with the, that particular game than it does with carnival games on the sticking switch. Why couldn't you just have five mini games that you could play right off the bat, 2K? Why does it have to be fucking two? That's what kills the game for me. That's what kills the fucking game for me. Only two? Why can't it be five? Five fun mini games! No, you have to only heal out two! And you know what I ended up doing off camera? I tried to grind in that, in, in that one particular game. I tried to grind in that one game that batting game. Try to fucking grind. Try to get all them sticking mini games with tickets. And you know what? I, I watched, well, I actually listened to we viewers review on this tablet of Carnival Games for the Switch. And you know what he said? He said he took two fucking hours to grind to try to get every single mini game unlocked. That's pretty bad! Having to play the same fucking game? Two fucking hours? That's the biggest problem. That you have to grind and then it gets repetitively boring. Having to do that? Now I know why he bashed this fucking game. It has a fatal flaw. It destroys the entire gameplay. 2K, what were you thinking? What were you fucking thinking? What were you thinking? You weren't. And I can definitely tell you weren't fucking thinking at all. You weren't thinking! Now I know why this is in the fucking parking bins! You should be giving this away for free! People shouldn't be paying for this shit! It's not as bad as as a couple of games I've played, but this is up there. I think it's even worse than Bale and Wonderworld. Because at least Bale and Wonderworld, you can at least play the fucking game! It did have a problem, but you can at least play it! This should, This fucking thing! You can only play two! Until you grind!
that's what kills the game for me. That's what kills it. And whatever fun that I could have had is destroyed. So I have no fucking choice to get, but to give. I have to give this fucking game. Carnival game for the Switch. It deserves it. A red card it gets. Fuck this game. So that's been my review of Carnival Games. <sighs> Why? It, it pissed me off so much. Even pissed me off even more. This I haven't been this pissed off in quite a bit of time. Carnival Games had to ruin a game by making certain mini games locked. You have to unlock them. One, two switches, unlockable games were easy to unlock. This is not. You had to fucking grind. 2K, you should be releasing this shit. You should have programmed this better. I'm done. I am done. I definitely do not recommend this to anybody. Anyone. This I recommend that you leave in the bargain bin. Until it is put out for free. It should be in dumpsters. It should be in dumpsters. So that way if you want to play it. Take it out of the sticking dumpster and play it. Find it in a dumpster. That's all I gotta say about it. It deserves to be in a sticking dumpster. It does not deserve to be on store shelves. That's all I gotta say about it. And maybe I'll try to find Carnival Games for the Wii and try out that. Maybe that will be much more fun because the Wii viewer actually likes that particular game over the Switch. And the Switch, of course, has different mini games from the Wii game. But still, 2K, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? This is one of the worst games I've ever played on the Switch. All because of that fatal flaw. Having unlockables, having to grind to get those unlocked, is crap. That shouldn't have to be that way. You should put you should have put out a little more mini games that allow for people to play. It shouldn't have to be fucking two. It should have been five. It would have been much more fun. No, you had to make it two. And as a result, I can definitely not recommend this. Definitely not. Pass on it. Or take a shit on it. Or put it down your toilet and flush it into the sewer. Because that's where this goes. Or even the dumpster. Throw it in the fucking dumpster. It deserves to be. And that's all I really gotta say. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I will catch you next time for another gameplay and review episode. I'm sorry that it was uh, a little shorter than uh, I expected it to be but I, I just my review was much more longer than the gameplay itself because of that fatal flaw. I even tried. I even tried off camera, but it wasn't worth it. So, all I gotta say is, fuck this game. Thank you all for watching, and I hope the next game will be a better game. Stay safe and stay awesome, and happy gaming.